Honestly, America. I have to record this while I have it in my mind because with the MS, you know, sometimes I lose my train of thought and I have a meeting that I have to go to and I need to be there within an hour, uh, which is why I'm dressed the way I am. But um, I just have to get this off my chest. Today, the United States of America is in the middle of a um, presidential campaign. And one of the candidates is Donald T. Donald Donald J. Trump, who is a uh, at least a millionaire, um, who has built Trump Tower and casinos and all these places. He's a builder, and he's a, you know he's a promoter. He's had a television show for years called The Apprentice, where he you know puts people. It's like a reality show. Everybody knows what that is. Okay, I'm just saying it like this because in case my great great grandkids ever get to see this. They could kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, so anyway, this idiot uh, is the presumptive Republican nominee. All right. That means that during the past uh, primary season, he beat out all the other candidates, which there were 17 at one time altogether. Um, and... The race is basically over, and it's not even the end of the primary season. So he's had enough. He's gained enough delegates, um, promised delegates, uh, to not have any of the other guys even bother to continue on this quest for the White House. At least not to spend any money. But you know, they'll have a convention, and we'll see what happens. But the saying is, Democrats fall in love and Republicans fall in line. So the Republicans are going to fall in line because more than any dislike or threat of this idiot, carnival barker, circus, you know, tent yeller, <clears throat> this misogynistic pedophile, this closet pe pedophile, allegedly, um, this person who is a joke, and they know he's a joke, and they're afraid of him more than anything, but the thing that they fear more than that is Hillary Clinton, well, they've been, they've been eyeing Hillary for a long time, they knew she was going to present a problem to the structure because she was a smart woman and I don't care what anybody wants to say no I'm not going to vote for Hillary because she's a woman but they are sure going after her because she's a woman I'm going to vote for her because I think that she is the best most highly qualified candidate that has ever put their hat in the ring the only thing she is she hasn't been is a general and Eisenhower did that and he was fine, you know, because he did basically what should be done, tax the rich and 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 fix up our infrastructure and let's get things going. And warned us about the military industrial complex. But now these people on the democratic side are um having a bit of a tiff. They're I'm not going gently into the night like the Republicans. They're spending their energy running against an independent, a senator that's been in the um, Congress between the House of Representatives and the Senate from Vermont, um, Bernie Sanders, Bernard Sanders. And he has decided this year at 74, I think, years of age, um, but aided by his young wife, who would have been a trophy wife, I guess, back when he was 50 and she was 20. I'm just saying. We all age, you know, so just keep that in mind. Um, he is running, he has decided that he wanted to, 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 to run for president also this year, but because he's always been an independent, he decided instead of going with the and an independent means that you can caucus with either the, the Republican or the 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 uh, Democratic 
Congress people or senators. You can Congress, you know, it was either. When basically they can have lunch together and, and have drinks and, you know, do whatever they do, you know, play, have fun. So he decided he wanted to play with the fun, the fun guys and he was always um, with the Democrats. So when they were doing votes and, and whatever, he usually would vote with them. Um, that's what the real meaning is of caucusing. So anyway, um, but he always had the option of going the other way with Republicans. And he's done that over the years, I'm sure, from time to time. But he hasn't really been effective. But he wasn't even... Well, he, he's an independent, but he is a socialist. Which is not a bad thing. I mean, we could benefit, we do benefit from socialism already in the United States. Social Security, uh, unemployment insurance, uh, the VA hospitals, the uh, roads and, and trains and, and uh, even the airplanes, tra you know, transportation, firemen, fire um, houses, police, corrections, prisons. Um, all of these things over the years have been are socialist and um, they're funded by taxpayer money. So that's why you don't have to pay. You don't get a bill when you call the police. Uh, um, you shouldn't get a bill when you call the fire people if you live in the city. You know um, that has enough people to have a, a, a municipal fire department. I mean, out here in Long Island, it's a little different. The guys volunteer. But they get a benefit out of that. They 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 volunteer, but they get um, breaks on their homeowners insurance. They get um, uh, insurance policies on their lives, and I think they have a reduction in their um, property taxes also. And the firehouses out here are a big thing, and it's mostly you know guys. Anyway, another subject. Let me get to this. So anyway, um. So Bernie decided that he's going to run as a Democrat, not as an independent, because we don't have a lot of um, third-party candidates just don't get the, the, the press, the coverage, the attention. Um, some places don't even have lines for third-party candidates. So in order for someone who's an independent to run, uh, it may pose a problem. So he's decided to go ahead and... Uh, run as a Democrat. But Hillary Clinton, who was married previously to President Bill Clinton, um, and who last served as Secretary of State for the United States under the Obama administration, and before that, she was a state senator from New York. And before that, like I said, she was First Lady of the United States of America. And previous to that, she was the First Lady of Arkansas. And previous to that, she was a lawyer. Uh, in a law firm, and previous to that, she was a professor. She's done teaching. She graduated from Wesley Wesleyan College. She was their uh, first student um, commencement speaker. Girl, well, it was a girl's school, and it was um, covered in Time magazine. So, believe this. Whoever it is that runs all the shit, the, you know, whoever you want to call it, the Illuminati, the New World Order people, the Masons, the Freemasons, the the, the um, Rockchilds, the Rockefellers, whatever, whoever, whoever's controlling this shit besides a supreme being, and maybe two, that two, um, has been keeping an eye on our little girl. And watching her, because pretty smart one there, huh? Really? Hmm. Now, meantime, she goes to Yale, I believe, and she meets Bill Clinton, and they start seeing each other. They get married. Bill Clinton is interested in politics also. He goes back to Arkansas, and he's a Rhodes Scholar. Don't think that th these same powers aren't paying attention to Rhodes Scholar. You know. That's okay. Let's they gonna see what he's gonna do. But then da -da -da, he marries Hillary Rodham. Oh boy, we have a problem. So they're now gonna watch them. And they watch them and 
Bill ran for office in Arkansas. He was attorney general, I think, at some point, and then he lost the election, maybe one or two. Uh, and he ran for governor, and he was governor of uh, Arkansas for quite a few many consecutive terms. And then he decided to run for president of the United States. So this caused the powers to tune back into the uh, Bill Clinton station because he's co-starring Hillary. And I go, okay, what's going on here? And that's when the great, vast, right-wing conspiracy to sideline Hillary was born. They always found that they could go after Bill Clinton because he's not a bad-looking fella, and uh, he's a man, and they know themselves, so they can keep an eye on him for that. She, on the other hand, she went to an all-girls college. She must be a lesbian. Stop. Um, so they've been keeping an eye on her. And she's been working at law firms, and uh, she sat on the board of directors of Walmart at some point. Uh, she's been a very good first lady. She got pre-K um, started in Arkansas that they didn't have before, you know, uh, for, for babies, young parents, young women, to have assistance with, with uh, daycare. And powers don't like that either. Pay attention. But they can let that slide because that means that women can work, but they really shouldn't even be in the workplace. But, all right, let's go with that and let that live. And it also became a model for other states. So, Hillary was being Hillary. And Bill was Bill. But anyway, he won the elections. He was a great president. He um, made mistakes. He made errors in judgment. He may have passed some laws that in some sense were very, very good for the, for the nation and the communities. And on the other sense, it created another deficit in other parts of the communities. And there are things that could have been done better and he was under pressure because of his bad behavior and, of course, the Republicans who always are, you know, mightier than everybody and holier than everyone except they're not either of those. They're, um, he ended up getting impeached and then he ended up getting um, not impeached. You know, they, they just brought the articles of impeachment, but the, it never proceeded to be a, a, an impeachment, uh, of course. Because they brought the articles of impeachment, uh, they always referred to it as Bill Clinton's impeachment. But technically, he wasn't impeached. <sighs> he just wasn't found guilty of the charges that they were trying to tr charge him with. And what they were charging him with is that he lied when he, Bill Clinton, married man, said that he didn't have sex with this woman. Now... They made a big deal about that. And he and the woman have both said that it was oral sex. Now, I'm, you know, a little younger than these people, but I, myself, I was shocked that they were trying to say at the time that, I think that was the first time I ever heard that, that oral sex was sex. I thought that that was, not that I was doing it at that time, but it always, to me, it seemed like a different um portion of sex like I guess when I was growing up we didn't do that and guys didn't do that they didn't ask you to do that really I mean it wasn't as prevalent but we have we have grown or matured learned how to do different things from the French and so we learned how to kiss you know kiss with our tongues and then over the time back in the um, early 80, late 70s I guess mid 70s or whatever it started to be a thing, and um, it was. It took. It took. It seemed to have taken black people a longer time to get with that. So, 
you know. But in my little time of experience and knowledge, to me, I didn't think it was sex. So suddenly we changed the definition or we broadened the definition that day that he said that he didn't have sex with her. In the meantime, Hillary believes him. That's her husband and she has the right to believe him. And come to find out later that some woman named Linda Tripp had uh, recorded the woman's, the, the young lady's um, telephone calls to her. She had befriended the girl, sucked her in, and, and, were, and would, you know, let her cry on her shoulder or, you know, talk to her. She thought she was a girlfriend, even though she was, she was older than her, but she was around Bill Clinton's age, too. So this girl is used to being around, you know, mature people. This is who she works with. And so she, she became friends with this rat. And the rat ratted her out. And she had it on tape. So now Hillary gets humiliated twice. Once for this even coming about, this accusation. Two, to find out that, you know, that she, after defending this man, that he did exactly what she, they were saying that he did. Not exactly, but he was messing around. He was not being faithful. He was letting somebody give him oral sex and he was giving that person oral sex and that's not something that you do when you're a married man. Bill knew better and so did little Missy because the young lady had been in a previous relationship with a married man. So she knew what was what was up. They tried to paint her as some poor little, you know, girl in the, in the um, you know, Catholic school dress and oh poor here's poor Bill Clinton who just dragged her over and seduced her and made her do these things to her they had a relationship but you know men do what they do so they he downplayed it as much as he could um, and it was anybody it was nobody's business it was nobody's business but his his wife's and this young lady so anyway that was that's why they were impeaching him because he told a lie because like any married men man, they're going to lie if they get caught cheating. I mean, <laughs> everybody who was accusing him of doing this was doing it themselves, and they all got caught. Bill Clinton got caught, but guess what? Bill Clinton kept his job. They all got caught, and guess what? They was on the unemployment line. Oh, that's back at that socialism again. Anyway, so now Hillary's decided she's going to run for president, and these powers have lost their minds. And so they're backing her opponent, Mr. Sanders, while at the same time allowing this carnival barker, this entertainer, to be their standard bearer. And now today, because somebody, somehow I got said that uh, Hillary may, if she were to win, because she's winning. If she were to win, um, she would appoint Bill as a financial economic advisor. And people are oh, up in arms. Are you crazy? The last time the United States, before the Bush administration, that we had a surplus, that we were people were live, moving into homes and, 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 and our, our retirement funds were doing well and we were a prosperous country. We had respect around the world because none of the other countries, um, prime ministers, kings, queens, all that, they couldn't understand what the big deal was over here in the United States about Bill Clinton getting a blowjob when these people, some of them have 13 wives and, 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 and other people, one guy, when he died, he was a prime minister, I think, of France, when he died, his his wife and his um, mistress walked behind his casket in front of the whole world. The people are not so stuck on this nonsense as they are here, you know. But this is the prudish United States, you know, the pilgrims. They came over here for religious freedom and then they, you know, started just, you know, slaughtering Africans that they stole from Africa and, and breeding them with each other like they were horses and some of them were you know, raping and kidnapping and maiming and uh, not paying for the labor 
of the slaves that they had stolen. So, you know, they're very, very, very moral over here. And they just couldn't, you know, this was a disgusting thing that he, you know, messed up the, 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 the you know, Oval Office. This, you know, he's had this young lady in there and this and that. Come on. Come on. Every president, I'm sure... Well, not every, but the majority, there's a, there's a significant number of them, including a couple of Bushes ago that had girlfriends. But the, the America didn't know anything about it, or they knew about it, and it didn't matter, as long as this person's doing their job. And Bill Clinton did a great job. So why would you be mad at, at Hillary for considering putting her husband in charge of the thing that he's known for? Remember, it's the economy, stupid. Well, why wouldn't you want this guy who knows how to do something with economies? Because he not only did the, did the United States uh, a great service when he was governor of Arkansas. That's why they kept electing him is because he did bring them out of the hole, you know. Why wouldn't you want to have that? Um, unpaid unpaid assistance because if the if somebody else were to win they would be a fool not to hire him to do that work if he was up to it she's not gonna um, I mean it's just it's crazy they're complaining Hillary was on the board of Walmart so does it ever occur to anybody that maybe she could be that could be an asset because she knows how they work she knows where the bodies are buried she was on the board you don't know what how much she got into the ins and outs of these things because from what I understand Hillary is brilliant she's she's smarter than Bill we know that but she's a genius and she's a quick learner and she's she pays a lot of attention and she gets it but she's a thinker and she's not just going to go away, go on for something just because it's the popular thing to do. She wants us to get what it is. You know, she wants to raise the middle class. She wants everybody to be in a good country, you know, but they want to call her a hawk. Well, if she was all nicey, 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 you know, you'd be saying that she was a woman, she's too soft, yet she has to be harder to, you know, work in this world with these um, terrorists and these, you know, Putins and all of this other stuff. We would have a problem with that if she was a softie. This is about fear. Just like there's fear of a black planet, there's a fear of a woman because it's not just that once you break that glass ceiling as we call it that means that men black men Latino men white women Latino women they won't have to fight that fight to be the first anymore so now they're on a level playing field with these Republicans and they don't want that not even in their own party. But they don't want that. They don't... It's man, It's a man thing. It really, really, really is. They, they don't want to compete for the prize. It's, it's just like in the animal kingdom. You see a threat and you try to squash it. You eat it, you consume it. You... Women, you know, there's people who still think the women shouldn't got to vote. And and black men voted before white women or any woman did. Again, as bad and as low as the slave was, women were lower on the totem pole too. It was different. It was brutal. But they burned women at the stake for on, on the cross, sorry, for saying, saying, saying that they were witches because... They had gifts from God. Or because people were jealous. It's the same mentality. The Puritans, the pilgrims, burning women, accusing them of being witches. Yeah, they had a few men that they did that to. Who was most of the Salem witch hunts? Look it up. Read about it. We have been trying to get an equal rights amendment in the United States since the 70s. I think even 
and and in order to get, I think it might have been even before the Clintons came came into power. That's how long it's been. Might have been through Nixon. I don't remember, but it's it's been a while. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it takes 34 states to ratify a, a bill so it can become an amendment. I think we got 33. And then it was dropped. You know, we don't hear about it no more. Women make 77 cents to every dollar a man makes in 2016. That means that it has to be almost the beginning or the second week of March before a woman's salary is equal to that of a man of la of the man's last year's salary. So, whatever the man's salary was at the end of 2015, a woman doing that same work won't reach that same work, same hours, same everything won't reach that same gross until March 15th of the following year. March of the following year, rather. So 215, 2.15, it would be March 2016. There are so many inequalities still for women. And President Obama has tried to address some of these things. And they're blocking it. They you can't know how much the other people are making. He wants to make a law that you have the right to, to know what your co-workers are making. They're not having that called the Lilly Ledbetter Law. They don't want that. They think that it's okay to pay women less than men. They think that that's, that's, that's a good thing. They want to discourage women in the workplace is less jobs for men. And at the end of the day, men are men. And they're going to stick to each other. How I know this? I heard a story uh, at work that one of the people I know one of the officers had an accident and uh, he was somewhere he shouldn't have been and when the uh, ambulance came he gave his telephone to the ambulance driver and told him to hold it I'll find you turns out that that was his second cell phone because a lot of brothers carry two cell phones men, men don't think it's only the brothers or the Latino brothers or anything. Men. Because that person gave it to an EMT that was a white guy and he held it for him. And he was in the hospital, banged up, banged up. His wife is worrying about him. They doing vigils and everything, whatever. Okay, he came home, came back. And as soon as he could get it together, he found that EMT. And that guy had been holding his phone for him all those weeks. Do not get it twisted, ladies. If your brother in law if your brother and your husband is out somewhere, your brother ain't gonna stop your, your husband from flirting with some girl as long as it doesn't go too far. That's gonna be alright. They're men. Even if he doesn't like it, they'll fight about it, they'll argue about it, they'll punch each other out maybe, and then they'll go have a beer or they'll have a basketball game. Because that's just how men do. So Believe me, it's an unspoken thing among all of them. Now, of course, Hillary has male supporters, and of course, um, you know, these other idiots have female supporters or anything like that. But right now, what the problem is, is that they're trying to shame women into not voting for Hillary. Those who say that I'm voting for her because she's a woman. I, don't, I haven't heard anybody say that. I think the people who are voting for her are people who have, who have been through the the Clinton years and who know how um, smart she is and who, who or who think that, she, that she's been taken advantage of or it was unfair or the Republicans really you know played themselves when they tried to impe impeach President Clinton there's a whole plethora of reasons she's very qualified she's the most qualified person to ever run for this office and uh, please don't make it that uh, women are only voting for her because she's a woman especially you women out here saying that nonsense stop it some chick told me I, I don't vote with my vagina I told you better you better stop voting on behalf of your vagina because these Republicans are certainly trying to get in it they're trying to get into your 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 your, your yours your daughters your granddaughters your great granddaughters they want to be able to tell them what they what kind of birth control they're allowed to have when they're allowed to get it 
restrict their access to safe, sanitary um, abortions, early terminations. The next, you know, they're going to have your daughters and your granddaughters turning in their sanitary napkins to be checked to make sure that there's no fetal product on it because it was a, a miscarriage she didn't even know she was having. Everything is about women. Oh, the guys are coming over the, the border because they want to rape our women. What? Because women aren't smart enough to make up their own minds that they want to have a relationship with this guy because he, he just climbed over the fence and she thought that was kind of cool. Because they got to be in everything because they want to control everything because they want to control us too. So yes. We can get to that conversation about black feminists and white feminists and black women shouldn't be feminists and you know all of this other stuff. We could That's another thing another day. Whatever. I got to get going. But I just wanted to to say this while it was on my mind, please folks, stop it. Donald Trump, really? What? Come on, you guys. You know better than that. You don't want him. With Bill, with Bill and Hillary, nobody's perfect, so. But, Within all of that imperfection, our economy did great. Within all of that imperfection, we were respected around the world. It took, President Obama did a whole lot of work to get us back, you know, in the respect of the United States after George Bush. And now you're going to give the world Trump? If they thought that we was idiots and they hated us with Bush and Cheney, what do you think that we're going to look like on the world stage with Donald J. Trump as our presidential, as our president? Is bad enough as a presidential candidate? Come on, folks, stop it. This is not a game. This is some serious stuff. We're talking about the Supreme Court. You're talking about a vast number of appointments and laws being, being uh, addressed. Situations. We got children dying of lead poisoning by their right wing GOP governor and his staff. We had the George Washington Bridge backed up by a Republican governor, a right wing Republican governor, and his staff on his behalf because a Democratic mayor didn't play the game the way they wanted him to play it. On, you know, these guys are crooks. And if the crooks are scared of this crook, you know he's got to be a bad guy. Stop it. We'll talk about Bernie Sanders another time. But uh, he's part of the same man thing. He is. Don't believe he's not. Don't believe he's not. But he has good 